Oh, hi there. Like me, you're working from home, building church, but you're not doing it on your own. People are sending you files, music files, audio files, video files, and you have to put them all together. But your email can't handle sending or receiving such large files. What do you do? We're gonna talk about one of those free options, Google Drive, today. Storage up in the cloud. You can get 15 gigabytes of free storage, and it helps you send and share and access files from wherever you have internet signal. Here, why don't I show you? The easiest way to find Google Drive is just to Google it. Once there, you'll have the option to sign in. It will look like this. If you already have a Gmail account, perfect, you can just log in with that. If not, and you just want to use, say, your Salvation Army account, you can log in and create an account using that as well. Once you land in the Google Drive page, it will look like this. Any folders you have set up will be there, and you can see some of the files. We're going to start right off with how to add new files or folders. It's very easy. You simply click on the New button at the top left corner. That will allow you to select whether you want to upload a file or a folder. Once you click on that, it will bring you to the directory of whichever operating system you're using, both Mac or Windows. And you can select the file and then just select Open. And voila, it will magically appear there after it's downloaded. There's even a handy status bar to tell you how quickly that will be done. So now you have a file, you wanna share it with other people. If you right click on the file, it will bring up this menu and you want to hit share or get shareable link. That will allow you to add people who you can share or to get a link that you can email out to people. But be careful, if you do select get the link, make sure that you change the setting so that anyone with the link can view or access the file. If you have a file on your Google Drive and you want to download it to your computer so that you can work on it, you simply just right click again and select download from the menu. Very easy. Well, that's Google Drive. Hopefully those little tips will help you share, download, and spread files to those you work with as you try to build church from home. Keep up the good work.